DDG just dropped a music video to his new song, Trying to Link. That link is popping up as well as it's down below. But people were not happy at all that there was multiple women with bikinis on in the video around him. Y'all know Holly fans do not play, so they definitely was coming for him. But here's what Kai had to say while reacting to DDG's music video. Look, I think you as a content creator go into music, because you used to be able to rate you on that scale, but now that you're fully focusing into new music, you're gonna be rated on a artist scale. I'm telling you, bro, you're now, ain't he with Haley? I hate when people put that because they're acting like this, like, bro, it's a music video, bro. If she, if she acts and go kiss a good bro, like, it's work. Oh, this shit is not, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of Kai, he got the Ivy Poppin' Bottles t-shirts made and he put Shannon Sharp on the t-shirt. Y'all comment y'all thoughts on the t-shirts down below. Now let's talk about CJ So Cool because a lot of supporters were hitting me up saying that Lexi and CJ broke up. They unfollow each other on social media. CJ also put up a crying emoji. Lexi was out and about in Vegas streets yesterday. Listen, they want me to walk alone, but I got Call of Duty. Listen, Call of Duty on me, grenades. Call of Duty on me, So Yes. CJ posted his IG, he said, it's always something. Missing out on temporary funds to build permanent stability is not a loss, lock in. Lexi reposted the caption, she said, only thing they should be saying is Lexi kept it solid, always and always. Lexi also spoke out about her real estate license because a lot of people were saying that she's not a realtor. She said, truth about my real estate status, I had to take 30 more hours of continuing education to be officially active again, so almost there. Y'all leave your comments down below when it comes to that. Hey y'all, so story time for the day. So I literally, I've been rushing around because I've had a lot of meetings this morning and uh, when I got in the car this morning, my car said low fuel. But I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm gonna just, you know, go about my day, I'll just get gas later. This is how you know I'm not used to having a car that needs gas because I'm used to riding my Tesla everywhere where I don't need to stop for gas. So I ignore the notification, I'm leaving my last meeting of the day and I'm literally in the middle of an intersection trying to turn and my car won't go my car won't start so somehow by the grace of god i have pulled over and i'm in like a neighborhood now but what the heck that was the scariest moment of my life just now look it, and i ignored it i ignored it thinking it'd be fine because i'm used to having an electric car but don't worry help help is on the way